Nearly two months after a natural gas explosion killed a 12 year old girl, Atmos Energy executives faced the Dallas mayor and city council members for the first time. The explosion that killed 12 year old Michelita Rogers was the third gas related incident in the same Northwest Dallas neighborhood in just three days. Today, Dallas city council members wanted to know how the city can know that the gas company's pipelines are safe. Fox 4's Lori Brown has the story. I can assure you our system is safe today and with the investments we've made, it's safer than it's ever been. It was a bold statement from the CEO of Atmos Energy that Dallas Mayor Mike Rawlings questioned. I'd like to have somebody else besides uh, Atmos say that as well. Like Fox 4, Mayor Mike Rawlings said he hasn't been able to find any government report that confirms the intricate pipeline system all over Dallas is safe. He also questioned whether the Texas Railroad Commission is doing enough to regulate pipeline safety. When was the last that. one that was done? on Dallas and Encore. I mean, uh, Dallas and Atmos, excuse me, I made the same mistake. I, I don't have that date with me, but we can get it to you. I think it's a pretty important because when I try to get that report, there seemed to be no report, okay? And I, I'm trying to figure out what our state railroad commission actually does for a living. Atmos executives said they could not answer questions related to the home explosion on Espanola that killed 12-year-old Michelita Rogers. Days after the deadly explosion, Atmos began detecting more leaks and shut off gas to 2,800 homes to replace all of the aging steel pipes. Some council members were skeptical of the company's claim that a complicated geological phenomenon was to blame for the leaks. In this particular region of Dallas, at this particular time, why didn't water mains break? I don't know the answer to that. At this particular place in Dallas, at this particular time, this impacts pipes with all these criteria. Why didn't sewer lines break? I don't have that information and I don't know the answer to that. Why are the only underground conduits affected yours? That's my concern about this theory. It sounds like speculation and it's shakier than even its name, the differential earth movement theory. Atmos says it is now using the new earth movement theory when it calculates which pipes are the highest priority for replacement in Dallas within the next five years. The one thing you do control is the pipes. And for me, looking at these old pipes in different parts of town, we need them replaced much sooner than 2023. In Dallas, Lori Brown, Fox 4 News.